Hi, I'm Linda Ruth from PSCS Consulting. At PSCS Consulting, we work with publishers to develop and optimize their print and online audiences. And I'd like to thank Schweike Media for giving me this opportunity to share some of the principles with you. For content publishers, search engine optimization is dead. At least, that's what I announced a couple of years back, and it created quite a furor in the industry. Um, the reason I announced the death of SEO was because I found that many of my publishers disliked its concept, and I decided that rather than trying to explain how, how SEO was misunderstood and maligned, it would be better to just develop a different concept that contained within it all the principles of audience development that we were trying to fit in under the auspices of SEO. SEO is a discipline I still actually love and use. It's the new newsstand and coming from a retail background, a background in uh, in working to get magazines placed at retail on the newsstand, I love what SEO offers in terms of discoverability, findability, searchability, all those abilities for content publishers um, is a wonderful, SEO provides a wonderful forum for. It's an online shop window and it is still very necessary. However, in the eyes of publishers, it's quite limited. SEO, after all, was the art and science of creating web pages that generated traffic and high rankings in the search engine. And its reliance on keywords, links, page rank, and site structure um, has made it a little bit of a moving target for web masters because search engines, and especially we're talking about Google, always wanting to stay ahead of spammers who might use knowledge of SEO to game the system, have always kept their algorithms secret and tweaked them to prevent exploitations. Over the years, publishers have gotten consistently more sophisticated in their online presence, and as a result, they chafe under the perceived restrictions of optimizing pages for search. They see the use of keyword in content antithetical to good journalism. They see keeping Google in mind when creating content like pandering. And they see certain tactics, what are typically called black hat tactics, as sleazy, which in indeed they are. And so as a result, um, in order to meet the needs of these content publishers, I developed the discipline of OAO. It's the collection of techniques that online publishers use to rise above the pack of sales sites, catalog sites, or sites that live through shady SEO and generate cheap clicks. And it allows publishers to leverage their wealth of high quality content to create a consistent web-wide presence and to generate new and repeat visitors. So OAO is using the best practices of SEO and internet marketing along with social media, content sharing, engagement mechanics, and branding to build and optimize loyal targeted audiences for content publishers. And even though it's an emerging discipline, um, it's already very important for not only bringing people, audience, to your content and engaging them, but also converting them. So how to get started with OAO? We have a number of of approaches here, some tips, and I will let you know what they are. 
first, the focus on the brand means sharpen up your editorial mission, communicate that mission. Words and phrases that are important to your brand should be shared with your webmaster, your social media strategist, your SEO team, down to, you know, the intern that's doing your social media. Every phrase used by them in headings, captions, and anchor text should display dual relevancies to both the searcher and to the brand. Second, be consistent and clear about your strategy and purpose. This is both online and offline. For example, what I mean by that is suppose your print product is serious and practical. Do you want your online presence to be playful and whimsical? Actually, maybe you do, but you need to understand the reason for that and so must everyone involved. This can't be random. If your online audience is different from your print audience, if you have different goals for your site um, versus print, if you know how you're managing that duality and where the approaches dovetail, that's fine. Just be consistent and clear. When I say cast a wide net, Today, social media is, shows one of the strongest correlations with high search engine rankings. So it's really essential to build out your presence on social media and content sharing sites. And focus especially on Google+, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Pinterest. And at the same time, make sure your net is also targeted. Your goal is no longer to bring in the total maximum number of visitors to your site. It's to capture potential audience members. So you want to work to increase site traffic, but not at the risk or the expense of the longevity of the stay of the visitors who land on the site. It's pointless to bring in people who are going to bail right away. So search for and connect with people who need the content your site offers. Stay away from empty promises in both your SEO and your SEM. Encourage audience participation. Time on site and bounce rate are two of the main indicators that search engines use to evaluate sites and therefore they're important for your searchability and your audience development. And employ engagement mechanics and gamification techniques. You don't have to put games on your site to use the techniques that make games so rich, immersive, and interactive. Points, badges, and leaderboards can be part of your gamification, but they're only the beginning. Publishers build into their sites all sorts of gamification practices to encourage participation and build interactivity. Do not forget to integrate your mobile strategy. Optimize both your mobile and desktop sites, not only for search engines, but also for social sharing, local and national apps, and also personal assistance. Some resources include uh, the PSCS Consulting site. You can drop over there. Uh, Exceptional Women and Women in Mid Digital Media and Magazine Dojo, www.magazinedojo.com. Come join the site and it's a great place to share your ideas and your successes. And let's follow each other. Um, I'll, I would love to see you uh, on LinkedIn, on my company page, which is PSCS Consulting, on Facebook. Uh, we can follow each other on Twitter or on Google+. So I'll look to see you online. And thank you again, Schweiki Media. Bye.